Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well. Viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, Marty! I'm Marty. Before we begin this episode of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, Marty and I just want to say Winnie the Pooh on Valentine's Day, one of the greatest episodes of yeah. TV ever. Yeah, we just, yes. <laughs> Go out and watch it this Valentine's Day. Hey, everybody, Colorful Artie and Marty are back for more Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. We're, we're, tri we're trial former. We're, yes, day two, trial former of Turnabout Corner. Indeed. Let's just start. Wow, they really need to repaint this place. It's like it's gotten more yellow. It's gotten more faded and dim. Mm -hmm. June 16th, 9.46 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Huh. Mr. Wright's not here today? He said his old foot injury was acting up. Old injury? He was all smiles yesterday! Yes, he smiles when he said he'll we'll be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Yes, fine. We'll be fine. Here comes justice! I started my voice training at 5 this morning. Ooh, do some now. I want to see. Uh, here. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> my name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine! That sounds more like a self-mantra than a voice training. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, you know what I'm saying? Ah, good morning. Yo, sup? Hit me with the guilty verdict, G. See if I care. You just hang loose and let things go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not really. Walkie, don't be running your mouth like that in here. See, that's the difference between me and you, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. Real G's can't keep it real till they spend some hard time at the pen. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like they've both been voice training too, Apollo. My worst fear is realized. The trial's starting and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. Okay, here's the other thing, too. Like, his fiance and his dad are like, dude, you need to get, like, the, him this, innocent. Like, this needs to happen. And he's just like, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> the loser sign yeah. above his head. Yeah. <laughs> if that's, like, a taunting thing that he'll do. <laughs> nanu, 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 so may the force be with you. Yeah. <laughs> June 16th, 10 a.m., just record courtroom number four. Oh, look. How am I not surprised? <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Walkie Kataki. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Ready to rock and roll, I was judge. Totally, I totally <laughs> called it. I was like, we met this random dude in a park who has nothing to do with the case. It's going to be the prosecutor. <laughs> That's the first time we got meet. In. That's the first time we meet the prosecutor before meeting him right. in court for the first I time. I thought we had met Godot before, but we just had heard rumor tell of him. Same with Edgeworth. Oh, I'm the beautiful <laughs> anime <laughs> boy. So, he's, so here's the thing. Him. He has a voiced objection clip. And it's his objection comes like objection, so it's like he kind of has the obnoxious. Oh, he has voice. an anime. He, he's yeah. like he's the beautiful. Uh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Ready to rock and roll, hair, ju ready, hair ready, judge, ready, hair ready judge, to rock and roll, hair judge. Oh, it's him, the, the, the prince guy from yesterday. He's the prosecutor. It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Funny. Oh. That what? Funny that one of them was a defense attorney and one of them was a prosecutor and the yeah. defense attorney's the one in jail. <laughs> yeah, it's a good it's a good flip on it. Long time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? You know what little band I started in my free time? Th that little band. Thing is, we got real popular. Hard to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, ya. Yeah. I see. To be honest, I was a little concerned. I feared that you might still be distraught over that one trial. Not to worry, Air Judge. I wouldn't miss this day in court for the world. It's worth even more than VIP passes to one of my concerts, ya. Yeah. <laughs> How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who bested my brother? Yeah. It was worth canceling a show or two. Definitely. Understood. <laughs> there, he has, like, the thing on, like, they, he posts online, like, sorry, guys, I, I have to cancel, like, the concert in Seattle because I need to see this kid. <laughs> They're like, what the heck? They're like, what we want in Seattle? Seattle. <laughs> I just ran away. Arby's! 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 <laughs> you may give your opening statements to the court. Before that, I was thinking, is the air in this courtroom not a bit serious? It is a court of law. That's no way to get the crowd jumping, Air Judge. They're not supposed to jump. This is a courtroom. Achtung, baby. Today we play it my way. 
all the girls. What's that noise? Also, <laughs> this music is actually playing in the courtroom right now. <laughs> Sometimes you have to get on up in order to get down to prosecuting. Okay, if any of the people in the, <laughs> the like gallery. in the bat in talk, I'm doing all of the voices. Okay. I just want it to be full of girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Him. Oh, that totally works. The victim, Pal Maractus, director of the Maractus Clinic. The scene, People Park. He was found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world was a doctor doing pulling a noodle stand? Also. Probably my favorite prosecutor theme in the whole game, in the series. Really? Over Godot's theme? Yeah. This uh, does have more of a punch to it. Also, apparently the guy who composed the soundtrack, like, heard this song in a dream and, like, made it. That's great! <laughs> no, but that's, like, how the best things are made, I feel like, is if you, like, have a vision. I'm trying to- there was a movie or something that I had seen and there, like, the director was like, I had this dream and then I had to <laughs> Was it Martin out. Luther King Jr.? <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, that's, I have a dream, not, oh. I had this dream. <laughs> <laughs> I had this weird dream. That's, like, what the speech would be if he put, gave it now. I had this dream last night, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, I believe you will only find that out by asking the defendant right here, right now. Because it's an undeniable truth that he shot the victim. What do you mean, undeniable? If you are to glare at anyone, Air Justice, glare at the punk in the defendant's chair. Me, whatever, me. His crime was witnessed quite clearly, you see. Very well. I just realized, probably then his own, um, mother is not gonna be the one calling him out on his ass. Probably not. Probably not. Mother of the year, little plum. That'd be hilarious if it's like, the dad's like, he's innocent, and the mom's like, he's guilty. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely did it. He definitely did it. Oh I God. know, I'm his mom. Oh, oh, shut up. <laughs> Please admit this witness to the court. <laughs> Probably the best animation, like, ever. That's way better than drinking coffee. Nine. Not yet. First, there's a little matter to be cleaned up. Could you talk without the accompaniment? I swear I could see the guitar for a second. What is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Air Judge. Why did the little punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the Maractus Clinic? Objection! Not so fast! The defendant doesn't have to explain that. Oh, but what if the defendant specifically requests to do so? And he did this morning. I want to give a shout out to all my homies, I believe he said. What? Also, uh, Gavin might be. He's not my favorite prosecutor, but he's top three he's prosecutors. He's up there, yeah. I really like yeah, him. Yeah, it. Uh, what is right? They always say that on stage. You should hit the crowd with speed and veracity. Sounds like he got you good, eh, Polly? Well, this is highly unusual, but what isn't in these courtrooms? <laughs> the court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. So, you, son, are the defendant. Walkie, are you? I ain't your son, old man! You step up to a Kataki, you best be prepared to step strong! You step to a public official, you'd best be prepared to step into jail. You gotta hand it to him. Walkie sure has guts. It's not his guts I'm worried about. Well then, the court will now hear testimony on the defendant's motive. From the defendant himself! Yeah. Witness testimony. I like how, he, I like how he looks like, meh. He yeah. looks so weird. He has fox ears and, like, fox hair. Well, it's so bizarre. <laughs> also, he has the face of a weasel. <laughs> the face of a weasel? He That's has a bit the, harsh. He has whiskers. They're not whiskers. They're, like, <laughs> they under, eye, like they're under eye lines, I think. They're too far under his eyes Actually, to be yeah, like that. Be whiskers. He, it's like, there, there it's like Indian war paint, but he <laughs> painted it like whiskers. It's very strange. Uh, there are Wh people. I don't know what Evita Tiala sees in this guy, but... Uh. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you one thing. That doc was a quacker. Someone had to show him what's what. I was in his clinic about a half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later. Bye. So I gotta go in and get another doc to patch me up again. That was the day I figured it out. No OG's gonna let that pass. That's why I went to his pad that night. You know what I'm saying. So wait. So he went to the clinic, and the clinic was like, Sorry, we can't help you. <laughs> With like, whatever the heck happened. We don't even know what press. happened to him. You're saying you were one of the victim's patients? A lot of stuff goes down when you keep it real on the street. True that. I'll tell you one thing. That doc was whack. 
Mm. It was probably, detect- it was probably Detective Hottie. It was probably Detective Sky. <laughs> no. no. Very well, the defense may begin the cross-examination. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all of this. Waki Kataki's truth. Oh my gosh. His earrings. I'll tell you what, Vin, that dog was a quacker. Quack, quack, quack. First of all, the word you're looking for is quack. And isn't that a little harsh? He's your family doctor. Who asked you, pointy locks? Just who do you think you are? Uh, your lawyer? Look, I ain't trying to hear that. He was a quacker, plain and simple. It was just it, it he was cosplayed just, as Donald Duck, y'all. It was, it's just a literal duck that, that like <laughs> worked. And they're like, it's the magic duck that heals everything. Oh, it's like uh, all Walkie actually did was shoot a duck. It's like you have to pay like a hundred dollar fine because it's yeah. not duck season. It, That's could be, it. it could be that. Oh, okay. Or, or it's like um the the medicine that they had in like Pocahontas, where it's like you could have like great medicine in England, or you could have like what the Indians did, where they like hover a turtle over somebody's <laughs> injury. That's probably racist, but yeah. That's, that's in the movie. Okay? I know that's probably racist okay. in the movie. So it's show what's what. I don't suggest you do it now. By someone you mean? Was there anyone with a score to settle with this doctor? Besides you, I mean. You better ask somebody else, Holmes. What do I care? I made up my own mind and did what had to be done. Straight gangsta style. But why were you so mad at this doctor? Yo, sit back and let's wad drop it, J-Man. <laughs> also, like, the Kataki family is designed after different, like, organized crime groups. So, like, Little Plum is Yakuza. Uh, Big Wins Winfred is uh, Mafia. And this guy's, like, Street Fug. Oh, okay. That explains why they all look weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looks the weirdest of all by far. <laughs> Mr. My Ops of the Bad. Although his mom has, like, way too big of lips. Like, the guy from- Maybe she just puts lipstick on beyond her lip. <laughs> no, but then she'd look like Ronald McDonald. She doesn't look like that. <laughs> honk, honk. Honk, honk. He or the freaked Joker. me out as a kid. <laughs> who, who did it get freaked out by him? So you were a patient at the Maractus Clinic half a year ago? For what reason? I had what you might call a mark of honor. Can you explain precisely what was wrong? We had a little run-in with the Rivales family. That's when I pulled a jack move. And ran into an ambush. G busted a cap right in me. According to my sources, you couldn't stand the stress of waiting. And ran in 15 minutes before the appointed time. By yourself. Hey, I was more than a match for those guys. I played so much Call of Duty, you have no idea. <laughs> so you were carried to the Maractus Clinic from there? Apparently he was shot in the heart. Um... Shot in the heart and he's still alive? I can catch bullets between my teeth, but I never learned how to catch them with my heart. Bullet stopped just short of my thumper, you know what I'm saying? I would've been golden if it weren't for that whack, Doc! Can't even take out a stupid bullet! So, as you say, the surgery was a failure. Oh my gosh, I bet this is gonna end up with, like, the We have the metal detector, let's see if the <laughs> bullet's still in there and it's, like, gone. Or it's not gone. <laughs> that ain't all of it, Holmes! Then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. Bye. What do you mean, he just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? It's whack, that's what. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds bad. It sounds as though Air Doctor wished to hide his mistake. This is why he let the defendant go. He's alive, straight up. He's bad at G than me. So I gotta go in and get another Dr. Pet Nipple Gotta go. So this bullet is still... You know it! I can still feel it. Right there in my chest, pressing up against my heart. Your words are like a bullet shot straight into my heart. Or something to that effect. Incidentally, that's from one of our hit singles. <laughs> Buy it at the gift <laughs> shop in the courtroom and lobby on the way Buy out. Buy it at Target. Well, that with sounds the, like a straight With the two point. extra songs. <laughs> with the two extra... And the awesome album. <laughs> with the, the awesome taco. Album. <laughs> well, that sounds like a straightforward case of malpractice. Word, J-Man! We're no accident, that's faux shizzle! Faux shizzle. Hmm. Seems that there were issues with this doctor. Man, put him down was like doing the world a favor. Walkie! Please consult your lawyer before saying things like that! Shut up, Apollo. Back straight! But why did this mistake only come to light that day? It was found during the family health checkup. The f family checkup? That was the waggest feet of all! I was jeez lining up taking eye exams and all of that! They have all these gangsters in one office at the same time? Okay, Mr. Big G. 
Take a look at your eyes. Which oh. one looks blurrier? <laughs> Which the better one, four. better two, or about the same? Uh, about the same. I've gone to way too many eye doctor appointments. <laughs> better to die young, fade away, bazoy. A relief to hear. Eh? What's a relief? Oh, it did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart? If not attended to immediately, it could kill you. Wh what? Yes, Air Doctor Maractus had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have saved your life. No way! That that's whacked! There is proof. Your checkup report. Walkie's checkup report added to the court record. Why'd you go and get that? How ironic that you would kill the one man capable of helping you. You're almost as careless as he was. <laughs> Well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. Yeah! So started? <laughs> We've had enough of a warm-up act, yeah. Time to hear from the witness. Oh, hang on. Let's check this. Results from a checkup were performed in June. Metallic object found near heart. Patient's name, Waki Kitaki, 19 male. Filed June 14th. Notes, metallic object found near heart. Urgent exam needed. Well, it was filed June 14th, which was the same day. The same day as the, uh, he killed yeah. the guy, yeah. Time to hear from the witness. I mean, even if you show up and it's a general appointment, you probably can't get, like, immediate, like, we need to have the surgery right now. Like, there usually are gangsters. Usually they probably can find a way. <laughs> but usually you need at least a day. Oh, okay. Maybe more. Like, All right, we can pencil you in in September. <laughs> Shut up, it's uh, urgent! Like, this no, is how the healthcare September, system but... works. Sorry. <laughs> Walkie yeah. sure is quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? Who's this weirdo? So, you will tell us your name and occupation. He looks this... like he hopped out of VeggieTales and became a human. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he? <laughs> it's the eyes! <laughs> I can never unsee that now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh boy, this guy's gonna be a joy to voice. I am the exquisite. <laughs> Kinda. <of. laughs> Could I do? <laughs> no, no. My name is Wesley Stickler. By occupation, I take it you refer to some labor that profits society at large and supports a livelihood oh under which definition I must confess to being unemployed. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached to this notion of occupation. Once we have accepted this reality, we see that our confusion is not just thought per se, but drives instead from the vagueness inherent in all repercussions of the thought, by which he means to say that he is a student. A junior at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. Then why do you have the cap and gown? Yes, in the Department of Science and Literature. Engineering? Filled with curiosity for all things, I spend my days in pursuit of truth honing my... You said literature, not engineering. That Wait. said engineering! Did I say literature? You said literature! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm thinking Dahlia. The Department of Science and Literature. <laughs> Wait, I thought for sure it said literature. I think it's I read we were literature. We'll go back and check. We'll go back and check. Dahlia that. was literature. Dahlia was literature. Because she was weird. Air Stickler, please direct said curiosity to the case at hand today. Very well, Mr. Stickler. Wait, can I... <laughs> please, thanks. <laughs> I wish. Please testify to the court about the, what you saw the night of the crime. You ask quite simplistically what I saw. However, you must understand that Homo sapiens possess two eyes, each of these designed to receive and interpret data, sending images in the forms of signals to the... <laughs> yeah, this guy. Not a fan of he this has, guy. He has the cheekbones of Angelina Jolie. <laughs> It's pretty and ridiculous. the eyelashes of Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just can't wait to graduate. That's why I got the cap and gown early. Early? Even though I'm a junior in literature. Maybe, maybe he's so good that he like is graduating early. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. A night in the park. That night, I passed through the park on my way home from shopping when I saw them. One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim was the defendant. In his hand he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. A shot! The bullet hit the man pulling the stand from the front, 
square in the forehead. Hmm. Was there anyone else in the park at that time? I can say with 100% accuracy that there was not. I mean, who would be at the park at, like, midnight? <laughs> it was 10. 10? Oh, well, okay. Still. The pistol our witness refers to is this. The court accepts this into evidence. Evidence. Everdence. 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 Ermagerd Everdence. <laughs> what a weird... <laughs> pistol added to the court record. Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Trucy, why are you staring at, like that at the witness? The man. I can't help but feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Why? It's not like he's your father. No, uh, how old do you think this guy is? Uh, he's not old, but like, okay, I'm trying to think like, how would she possibly know him? <laughs> Was he also thrown out of the Fey house and be like, go to college, stupid? This guy is not a Fey. <laughs> what in the world? No, I'm just trying to figure out how would she know him? Did they like go to school together? This guy is basically. She's transferred schools a million times, like me. So. Okay, but Trucy is 15. This guy is like I think 20, 21. Can we see? No, not right now, actually. That night, I passed the park. Hold it. Shut and up. I condoned a course of action that would put, put butter, butter on, on my, my popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> oh, hang on, let's check. Uh, Wesley Stickler, 22. What the heck? You're a junior in science at Ivy University. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Paul Erectus. On your way home from shopping, you say? Why go for the park? Ah, oh, a fascinating inquiry. Revealing me culpable of being insufficiently verbose. Let us consider the time saved by passing through the park on the way home from the store. In that time, I am capable of solving two GMAT problem sets. On average, it requires me 3 minutes 24 seconds to complete one such set. Ergo, the time to complete two is on average 6 minutes 46 seconds. However, in the case that questions are in the verbal category, admittedly not in my... Uh, th that's enough! Enough! I get the idea. Mr. Justice, the court hopes to finish cross-examination sometime this month. <laughs> Please, I've got a recording booked after this trial. And I've got a show to perform. Gee, sorry you're all so busy. <laughs> One man pulling the stand. Uh. <laughs> what voice would you give this guy? <laughs> One voice pulling the stand. And and I, <laughs> it's almost, I would give him more of like a, a Mr. Brain kind of voice. And this, and then I went and go. <laughs> I went to go. To I went to pass through the park on my way home. I needed to do the yeah, GMHE like, problem. I think if he had now. like thicker eyebrows and lazier eyes, I think I would give him that voice. Otherwise, yeah, kind of what you've got now. Maybe a little, like, yeah. Is it too flamboyant? No, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfectly flamboyant. It's Good. perfectly flamboyant. Were these men talking by any chance? Ah, now that you mention it, they were. Though I cannot claim I heard them clearly. Only fragments, such as, you lied to me. Oh, and I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine, pal. <laughs> it's just as our defendant claims. I believe he wished to teach the victim what it felt like to take a bullet in the heart. But he aimed wrong. If that's true, then this is a vital piece of testimony. Sounds like he heard them clearly enough to me. Hold. Might I be allowed to amend my testimony? What? What now? To be precise, he did not say pal, but man. Yes, that was the way of it. I swear it on my diploma, which I don't have, because I'm still in college. <laughs> What's the difference? And this other man, who was he? I saw them quite clearly. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> How can you be so sure it was the defendant? The crime took place at night. It would have been too dark. <laughs> Let me kiss my hand before answering. Let me. No, I think it was like he <laughs> licked his fingers. No, he so was he kissing could turn the pages. Oh, maybe- oh, that's- that's even more- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've had- This case is so gross, with like, Director Hickfield, and the panties, panties and licking your and Little Plum. Little Plum. <laughs> little Plum, I smoke eight packs a day. Yeah. Perhaps I was remiss in not mentioning this earlier. Huh? You see, in class I always sit in the very backmost seat. Do you know why? <laughs> Normally that's where the slackers sit. I, I almost why. always sat in the back. You did? I yeah. was sat in the front because I can't see well. So I like, <laughs> even though I have 20-20 vision, 
I'll like sit at the front because the teacher won't write on the chalkboard or blackboard like Funny big. So I always have to sit at the front and then I'm like squinting and trying to read. Funny story. Um, for autumn semester, my senior year, uh, my calc free class, I'm like, when I was walking, in, I'm like, okay, you know what? I always sit in the back. Like, this time I think I'm going to sit in the front. Walk in the room, like, the two people in the back, like, the table were like, oh, hey, nice to meet you. I shook hands. I was super friendly. I'm like, guess I'm sitting back here then. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. They're great. I love my calc free friends. That's awesome. Do you know why? Yeah, because they're nice. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> because I do not wish anyone to copy my perfect notes. Oh my gosh, you're that pretentious person. And this relates to your testimony how I totally forgot what question he asked. I just thought this was he about said that he the, sat yeah, in the, back. the back of the class. I forgot about that. It's just like, I'm like, you know why I cut through the park on the way home? I didn't want anyone I to read, read my, my notes. notes. <laughs> I mentioned this to illustrate my predisposition to that which is perfect. It was dark, you say? Yet there are lights in the park. Oh my gosh, no one goes. If I say the defendant was in the park that night, then he was in the park that night. You have the eyes of br a brass doll. <laughs> <laughs> he does. It is a hard, immutable fact that I have eyes like a brass it's doll. <laughs> he sure is confident. He seems to be telling the truth, too. <sighs> I mean, it probably was Waki. <laughs> Waki admitted to it. Well, it could be. <laughs> In his hand, he held, yes, a pistol. Hold it. Otherwise, it could, be, it could be the, 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 the it could be a little plum. Little plum. Although, I how had to do kill you, the guy. How do you mistaken little plum for him? <laughs> Quite impossible. <laughs> Are you sure the pistol you saw is the same one that you just submitted as evidence? Am I sure? Surely, you jest. Or so a common witness would be tempted to say. Huh? Yeah, yes, he kissed he... it. He kissed it. Still. Yet, I am no common witness. Yeah, nobody I see not is. only events as they are, but the logical structure governing these events. Oh my gosh. You're so annoying. First, we must consider the fact that it was night in the park, which indeed restricted my field of vision due to insufficient levels of illumination. Now consider that the pistol that we call it Object A indeed was shrouded in darkness. It becomes difficult to say with certainty that Object A was indeed Object A. I think he means he couldn't see it that clearly. My badge for a normal witness. Yet the fact that a pistol was fired before my eyes is indisputable. I could still see it when I closed my eyes. The defendant raised his weapon. Well, if you can't see the characters that clearly, <laughs> then this is probably not that good. Here's the thing. In real life courts, eyewitness testimony is not that reliable as oh, evidence. No. <laughs> Any old schmo can come in and be like, I saw the crime. With that voice. First off, thanks for using that voice. Second, second of all, I saw the that, crime. That's not the reason. The reason is just like human memory is so fragile. Yeah. That even if you also, have witnessed Watt it, hearts is really fragile. As well. hearts like, oh yeah, I convinced myself that I shot the gun. <laughs> Wait, that no, that's not no, what she said. No, that she saw stuff, not that she shot. shot someone. What's this about a shot? Are you absolutely certain that only one shot was fired? We can check for ballistic markings. Yes, of course it was one shot. Why do you ask? Aha! A contradiction! Finally! Mr. Stickler, according to the court record, the pistol was fired twice. A clear contra- Good eyes, yes, Air Justice. You're cool, real cool. Also, you didn't hear my objection voice because I was talking over it. Sorry. I'll hear it again. You really think so? Yet, there's no reason why this other shot had not been fired that night. Meaning? This pistol came from the Kitaki family mansion, ya. Yeah. I think it's not unreasonable to assume the pistol had been fired once before that night. That's pretty weird. During, perhaps, another altercation. Ugh, he's got a point. Judging from his smug expression, I'd say Prosecutor Gavin had that answer ready before you even spotted the problem. He seems pretty confident in his <laughs> testimony. We always make the biggest mistakes when we're on our most confident. He's got a weak point somewhere, Apollo. Find it! Right. Better give that testimony another listen. Eh. That night, one man, I saw, in his hand, a shot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, whoa, it's like fast motion. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, let's present some evidence. Alright, which uh, one? Prop, uh, I mean, that... Hit the man <gasps> holding the stand from the front. I, yeah, okay. My eyes are watering like crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> in his hand, he held a pistol, yes. He was pointed at the man pulling the stand. I want to examine the stand real quick. Because did the shot go clear through his head? 
Uh, I think it lodged itself in his head. Okay. Because I was checking to see if there was any, like, marks on the back or the No, front there's no marks of... on me. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to present the wrong name, <laughs> Ooh. I saw them quite clearly. He was facing the defendant. One man was pulling the stand. <laughs> this guy's very weird. Yeah. The sad thing is, I almost guarantee because we still have this underwear as evidence, it's gonna be like really stupidly important, probably. <laughs> uh, yeah, it possibly. probably will be really important. It'll be like, which panties were they? <sighs> It'll probably not for this. <laughs> you know what? I think that your testimony's stupid because of this. <laughs> Meanwhile, little plum. What were you trying to play? I was trying to do Guy Eldoon's theme. You got it. That was not what it was. It's similar. It's similar. I don't think it's the shot, because the shot was like, whatever. So he shot the guy square in the Yeah, that's fine. I saw them quite- oh wait, yeah, it's the I saw them quite clearly statement. Because he literally just was like, I did not see them quite clearly. But we don't have anything to present on that. Maybe we have a- do we have a weather report that's like- No. Fog. It was dark. Do we have a map? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Kitaki Mansion. Five Yards, People Park. Murkichi. Yeah, dang Marat it. Disclaim. It doesn't say where the store is. Because if the store was like oh, the in the wrong. Stand? No, the store store. Oh, he was the like, store I'm he was going in. going to the store. I went to Meyer. Oh, my the way. the quickest home. way to go through People Park. As you know, I have a Costco card. They're very useful. At Meyer. <laughs> At Meyer, yes. You Did you know, if you show the Meyer employees your Costco card, they will give you a 0% discount. <laughs> it's quite moving. <laughs> oh my gosh. I passed through the park. Okay, yep, that's fine. I walked to school that's fine. with my best friend. I saw them. I, I, yeah. It was the pistol. It was the... Yeah. It, 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 must, it must be the a shot one. <laughs> He has such a weird face of his mouth. He's like, the show. It's what I look like when I sing. When no, you have it's an, not. When you have an ooh. How is his mouth that small too? Oh, he has like a small mouth. Like you know when you customize a me, and it's like and you, you can have the dot. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's his, his mouth. mouth. <laughs> Maybe Dude. it's because of the. Uh, huh? Wait. Is it because we had that knife found? Known as a shiv. Okay, well... Okay, maybe not for the shot. He shot thing. the guy with a shiv. But maybe not for that statement, but... Yeah, okay, then let's do that. Mm. Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. It clearly... Uh, wait, it used the same dialogue. What? You don't sound very sure, Mr. Justice, and you sound exactly like Mr. Wright there. I don't think that won me any points with the judge. What a shame. Full shame. I will say it is this statement. Okay, then let's try that same thing. Objection! Nope. Darn it. Your Honor! <laughs> Your Honor, it's dumb. The bullet. A shot! A shot. Nope. <laughs> Why are we examining this? What the? <laughs> What? These bloomers sure have a distinct design. You certainly know who they belong to at a glance. That way she doesn't have to write her name on them. Genius! I would think writing your name would be easier than drawing a plum blossom. Well, okay, those are hers. It's a... Oh wait, there was something to examine. And... Oh. Whoa! Don't point that thing at me! Don't worry, I can handle myself around guns. Magic guns, at least. The ones that pigeons come out of. Very reassuring. I'm imagining in the midst of, like, okay, like, Mr. Wright presents something, like, she's like, look at this gun! And, like, pulling <laughs> Pointing it, it around at people? Yeah. Miss Wright, do not do that. Did we actually look at these? No. Sure didn't. Something the matter? Uh, I was just wondering if there was, like, a switch on these? Of course not! Huh. Mysterious. Oh, do you want to know the secret of my panties? Ah! 
No! No thanks! Who uses magic panties in a stage show anyway? Thank you, Apollo. Thank you. Only sane person here. Single bullet to the right- Oh, that's the problem! <laughs> yeah! I just realized that! To the right temple, not to the square of the forehead. Whew! That's all of it. I think I have a chance. Is that you? Relaxing, I see, Air Justice. Huh? Oh, uh... <clears throat> OBJECTION! Once is quite enough, Mr. Justice. Apollo, pace yourself! This trial's not over yet! Back! Uh, right, <clears throat> uh, look at this! The autopsy report? Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Um, right, a problem. Problem... Problem... Yes! The problem is the location of the entry wound. Uh, the location? You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead, did you not? Ah, oh, I have already determined your angle of inquiry. Allow me to explain. It is quite simple, really. First, to understand that when I say square, I speak not of geometrical absolute. What I do I mean by this? For example, the defecation of a meter is very much greater than the wavelength of the light emitted by a krypton particle. In addition, it is a well-known fact that krypton particles are rare and invisible to the naked eye, which points to a basic fallacy in your line of reasoning, namely that- Mr. Justice? Yes? Was your objection to these, er, uh, krypton particle things? This is the big time, and you are obsessed with something so small, you disappoint me. N no I'm obsessed with something big! I mean, there's a bigger, less nitpicky problem here. Do tell. Just look at the autopsy report. The vocation of the entry wound was the right temple. To temple? Mr. Stickler, you said quite clearly that the victim was shot square in the forehead. That's a contradiction, isn't it? Is it? It is, right? Finally! Objection! Air Justice. Oh, Air Justice. Yes? Your tactics are outdated, trying to shake the witness by objecting to trifles. Surely you haven't forgotten the fatal wound your master suffered seven years ago. Phoenix Wright, was it? Look, I know the wound was in the wrong place according to this testimony. <laughs> hey, Herr Forehead. F forehead? <laughs> Let us imagine you are walking through the park. You see two men facing each other, one with a pistol trained on the other. What would you do, Air Forehead? Well, I... I guess... I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout, STOP! And you, Fräulein? Me? Well, I'd probably scream, ME! And you, Air Stickler? What did you shout, I wonder? Ah! If the victim turned his head at the last moment... Oh, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. Sounds like an addendum. Sounds like an addendum to the testimony is required. <laughs> Witness testimony: A night in the park. Part two. two. As soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. Cease this at once, you two! I cried oh with composure. How could he <laughs> yell? His <laughs> mouth is so. Cease, Cease this, this at once. <laughs> the victim turned it to the direction of my voice, and a shot ran out. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. I see. I see. <laughs> so you attempted to stop the crime. Indeed, with composure. Yes. <laughs> well, maybe the criminal wouldn't have fired if he hadn't shouted like that. Th that doesn't really matter now, unfortunately. Let us consider this new testimony, shall we? Observe the diagram, if you would. You're making it sound a little bit too much like the witness. Or the, Gavin? the no, not the witness, the evic the defendant. Lucky, dang. Lucky, yeah. Don't put as much of the sorry, nasal. but you heard his objection voice. Where it's like, objection, objection, objection. The witness, Mr. Stickler, was it? Stood here. He shouted, "Oh, stop, please!" or something of this nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness's direction. If the killer were to have fired at just that moment. As we can see, the bullet would have struck the right temple, as in the report. That does seem to be the case. Witness the power of a junior in Ivy University's Department of Literature- uh, Science! Science! 
Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross examine like, the witness. I'm like, double major. He's like, I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what apartment I'm in. Or apartment. <laughs> he gets lost all the time. Which apartment is mine? I wonder. <laughs> Very well, you may cross I'm examine at, the witness. I meant department, but I said apartment. <laughs> No, you have to play a theme that would sound like him. Oh. <laughs> he has, like, no mouth, so he's just like... <sighs> there. I played it with as little of my mouth as possible. A Night in the Park Part 2. That was my favorite movie of all time. Anyhow, that's it for this episode of... of <laughs> I was a Phoenix right? Of Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. We get to hear more of Wesley Stickler. Oh boy. He is not a very good witness, I must nope, say. No, he sucks. <laughs> Maybe people are like, well, if you give him that terrible voice, yeah. I When I saw him, right from the mm -hmm. first time I saw him, I'm like, he has this voice. Oh Absolutely. yeah, I saw it too. Yes. I am your sister, though, so that might be part of it. Anyhow, tune in next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.